Hey guys, welcome back to episode two of my Discord.js Read the Docs series. You guys seem to be enjoying these episodes so far, and I'm actually enjoying creating them. So I think I'm gonna keep doing them for the time being. And we're just gonna jump right into this episode, and I'm going to explain what we're doing. This episode is gonna have to do with message reaction, and we're gonna just take a random user from a particular reaction on the message and DM that user. And how we're gonna achieve this is by breaking this down into a couple different steps, like we did. So the first thing we're gonna do is get all the users on the particular message reaction and we're just going to run the command that already has the message id and the reaction that it's going to fetch the users from after we have those users we're going to take a random user from that collection of users and then send them some random dm which we'll make later on in the video but without further ado Let's jump on into it. Once again, I do have some boilerplate code from the discord.js documentation. Anyways, I have a message pre-sent over here in the Discord. So we're gonna need two things here. We're gonna need the message and we're gonna need the emoji to get users from. The message, we can just grab that by the message ID. Then emoji, it's just a nerd emoji. There's multiple ways to get an emoji, which I will show you. We're gonna hop back over in the code and make these two variables. So the first variable we are gonna make is the actual message. And to get this message, we're we're just going to send it get here right from the message.channel. We're not going to be using this command anywhere else. So we can just go ahead and do message.channel, hit the messages. And because we're not caching messages here, we're actually going to have to fetch the message from the messages section. Tack on dot fetch. This will allow you to provide like a message ID, or you can provide a collection of messages, or you can provide a um, array of messages, which you can actually see on the screen right now. And here it returns either a single message or multiple messages, depending on how you did this. The next thing we need to provide is the actual emoji. So there's multiple ways to get an emoji here are windows actually windows 10 specific if you do windows then period brings up an emoji manager and if you just type in the name of the emoji you want get that emoji on mac i'm not sure what the keyboard shortcut is i have to google that but i'll probably show some screenshots right now on different ways to get emojis but we have these two variables right here ready to go so to make this super simple in this video we're just going to listen for a message and this message is going to contain the word random but we just have this in a simple if statement we're not going to do much more depending on how you you use this in your own code it's going to vary anyways for starters take this message and we're going to get the users from this message so we're actually going to go ahead and jump into the docs i'm going to show you the message reactions object so once again here we're actually going to be using the message class we're going to actually scroll down to the message reactions class and again this is a reaction manager we're going to have to access cache property once again and once you find that particular reaction from the cache you will get a message reaction so we're going to go back in the code and i'm going to show you how to set that all up so you're able to access data from the reaction that you want so for starters we're going to make a new variable here called message reaction and with this variable we are going to assign it to the actual message reaction that we need so as you see we're using the reaction message emoji so before we start interacting with this reaction message property we are going to actually have to await this now this is because we are using the promise here and when you are using promises you have to wait for something you have to wait before you can actually access the information promises returning so once we attack await and we actually make the message event here async you then have access to the different properties that you would normally have access to in this case we're gonna have to go to reactions then like yesterday dot cache now we have access to that collection we are going to want to get a specific message reaction by its key so we're actually going to go back into the discord.js docs and we are going to look at the collection class so we are here in the collection class and discord.js has its own collection which really just extends the a map from discord.js it actually just extends the map from javascript and not discord.js and these utility methods are really useful and you will find yourself using these a lot basically everywhere within discord.js so back in the code you just go ahead and do dot get we can get a particular element from the collection by its key now this key could be the reaction ID if it's a emoji that you add to that server or it could be the actual emoji such as the nerd emoji. So once again, I can just pass in emoji since I already have the string here. Once we have access to that, we have access to all the different methods and properties on a reaction emoji. So in this case, users. So we can do users.cache or we can do users.fetch. Now in this particular case, I'm gonna have to do users.fetch. So the reason why I'm doing fetch in this case is I want to ensure sure that the users are in cache every time I run this command. In normal or production environment, this might already be the case for you. But for now, we're using fetch to get all those users that we need. And you're going to assign this to users. 
So now if you go back to our steps here, you can see that we have already completed the first step, which is to take a message and an emoji and then get all the users on that emoji. And to show you guys what we have going on so far, I'm simply going to put in console all the users on this particular message. So I'm going to go ahead and start up the bot. I'm going to run the command and show you what we have in console. Okay, so if you go ahead and look here in console, you can see obviously we have a collection here. It says two, we have the size that we have map. So this just represents the user here, which is me, and then client user, which is the bot user. And you can see some basic information and data regarding this user. So the next thing that we can do here is get a random user from this collection. So the method that I'm about to show you is something that I actually forgot about as I was making this episode. So I stopped myself, went back and kind of corrected myself. And if you scroll through the methods here, you're gonna see one method that might pop out here, which is random. And what random allows you to do is you can provide an amount or just provide no amount. And what discord.js would do is from that collection, it's gonna return a random amount of elements from that collection. So since we have those users fetched and everything, we should get a user from this particular collection. Now that we have done users that random here, we have access to that user, which takes us into the next and final step, which is actually sending a DM to that user. So we're gonna go back over into the docs again. We're gonna look at the user class and see what we can do when it comes to sending a DM or sending a message to a user. So now we're over here at the user class. In the send method, you can see different examples of how you can use this method here. And you can see that is referring to a channel. As when you're sending a DM to a user, you're sending it to their DM channel. As a DM channel, private channel is associated with every user on Discord, including the bot user itself. That's why with these examples, you actually see embeds in here or channel.send. That's what we're gonna use. And I already have a message in mind that I'm gonna send to the random user. So I'm gonna go back to the code, make that, and I'm gonna have you guys come back when I have that so first I'm gonna go ahead and await this and then send a message as this is a promise and you should be awaiting your promises. And the message that I'm gonna send is if you're reading this, it's too late. And if any of you guys out there happen to be Drake fans, then you're going to know what this means. Not, it's all right, it's a message. So I'm gonna go ahead and test this out and we're gonna see together if this works or if this doesn't work. Okay, now that we're back in the Discord, so I'm gonna go ahead and type in random here. Either myself or the bot should get a DM that says, if you're reading this, it's too late. So let's go ahead and hit send, see what happens. As you can tell, I have a new DM, and in this DM is from Read the Docs. If you're reading this, it's too late. And that wraps up all the steps that we went over. So now we are back at where we started. As you can tell by watching this point of video, we have successfully completed all the steps that it took to message a random user who reacted to a specific emoji on the message. Again, how we achieved this is we got all the users on the particular message emoji. So we got the message ID of the message that we wanted to listen to or get information from then we had the emoji that we wanted to grab all the users from then using collection random method on the collection we we're able to randomly get that user from the collection and finally we were able to send a message in that user's dm channel so once again when you're sending a message to a user not just an actual message but is actually sending a message in that user's dm channel that's why you saw channel.send when looking through send method in the user class so if you made this far in the video I'm glad to have you guys around hope you guys are enjoying these videos do plan on doing more and if you have your recommendations please leave them down in the comments also please like this video and share this video as you probably heard a million times it helps your youtube algorithm and i've seen guys it really does so that's all i ask from you guys you don't have to subscribe just share the video like the video and comment show your support so i'm gonna end it here and i will see you guys in the next video peace out